The structural integrity of the shed that I'm building is mainly provided by 16 arched ribs called bows. The bows are produced by taking two long thin strips of wood and bending them into an arch and then taking small blocks and screwing them in between these two bent arches. It makes for a really light but very strong framing structure. Now, since I don't have much flat surface out here, I ended up making a jig to produce these bows by screwing some pallets together. The project of building these bows is a perfect example of the kind of repetitive tasks I can have out here that really lend themselves to some kind of practice of meditation. I'm just taking the same basic actions over and over again. One of the goals I've had after I moved out here was to be in more of a physical meditation as I move throughout my day. And it's been pretty challenging for me. What I want is, it's really quite simple. I just want to be present with it. I want to feel my body in the moment and pay close attention to what's happening right then instead of thinking about what's going to happen five minutes from now or wishing it was done. As I'm building these bows, I can really feel myself slipping back and forth between both of those states. There'll be moments where I'll just be totally present. I'll feel the weight of the drill in my hand and the sensation of my body as I push a screw in. It's a much more <laughs> fulfilling way to, to spend this time. And then other times, it's sort of the meditation equivalent of like falling asleep back into my stream of consciousness where I, I will just go back into my regular kind of behavior pattern when I'm working on a project, which is I'm not present, I'm actually pushing to get the thing done. There's this sort of unconscious back pressure that I'm looking ahead for it to be over and I'm pushing against this present moment to get to that moment. It feels much different than the experience I described previously and frankly a lot worse and a lot worse for my body. I really do wish that there was a way I could just snap my fingers and make it so that I was always physically present with this kind of task that I'm doing. But it kind of seems like it is a practice and I have to continually engage in it to get better at it. Compared to the complexity of building the bows, the foundation for the bow roof shed is blessedly simple. It's just a couple of vertical pieces of 2x6 screwed into some stakes that are pounded into the ground. 
The only real trick is making sure that the foundation is square and level, and that should be pretty easy. Well, I was right that it was pretty easy conceptually to square up and level the sills for the bow roof shed. What I was surprised by was how physically difficult it was. It was really pretty brutal to be driving those stakes into the ground by hand with the mini sledgehammer. I didn't know if I was going to make it in one day, my right arm was getting so tired. But I really wanted to get those in there before the ground froze and it was going to be impossible and I was able to pull it off. Mm -hmm. 